Stop texting everyone in your contacts or on your Facebook list to join your network. Becoming successful in network marketing is about much more than having a long list of contacts. In fact, that's just the tip of the iceberg. The real work lies in effectively recruiting customers and business partners. Unfortunately, this is where many beginners stumble. If you're just starting your network marketing business, make sure you watch this video till to the end. Because today I'll share a clear three-step approach to inviting contacts that will get you a yes in 99% of the time. So are you ready? Let's dive in. First things first, your success in network marketing is not left to luck. It requires clear strategic planning and execution. The good news is that invitation is an art that can be mastered by anyone as long as you understand the basics. Essentially, the art of inviting is one of the four basic skills, one of the four fundamentals to get started in the network marketing industry. So if you are unable to master this skill, you might face challenges. But today I want to break it down so that that doesn't happen to you. Over the last couple of years, I have noticed that due to poor inviting skills, people often repel or chase away potential contacts, thus limiting their potential for growth. If you don't master the art of inviting, your growth may be stunted or very slow. But to understand this, you must first grasp the basics. Here are some tips to get you started. Tip number one. I call it the four-step strategy. The goal of mastering the art of inviting is for sure to gain customers and business partners. But first and foremost, it is to spread information and create an understanding about your products, your service or your opportunity. But to do this effectively, you must first build a genuine relationship with whoever you are inviting. They should not feel like you're only meeting them to sell some stuff or to invite them to join your network. They should feel like beyond the invitation, you're genuinely interested into them and whatever they care about. The four step strategy has helped me and many of my business partners to master the art of invitation. First and foremost, you must approach your prospect differently. Even though it might seem convenient to text them and invite them to your network, don't do it. It's more effective and professional to approach them personally. Just imagine how you would feel if somebody pitched you via text message wanting you to sell a product or a business. From experience, people are more open if you approach them in a personal way, whether through a phone call or a face-to-face -face conversation. By personally inviting them, you put more significance on the event itself as well as on the prospect you are talking to. Actually, think about it. If you ask somebody out for a date, you would also choose a personal approach, right? If you can do this in a romantic setting, why don't you do it when you're inviting somebody to your network. Secondly, when they accept an appointment and you meet them, ensure that you listen to them actively by showing real interest in what they are saying. Just listen, ask questions and show real interest. If you listen carefully, if you're patient and sympathetic, many people will open up and tell you about the challenges in their lives. And that is the moment when the door is opening for you. Thirdly, now you are in a privileged situation when you don't need to sell a product or opportunity but can offer a solution to the people's problems. Since you are convinced that your product, service or opportunity can help people, you don't need to sell something. Instead, if you are able to recognize the challenge in people's lives, you can provide them with a solution. With this method, you will transform from a salesperson to a problem solver. So again, Offering a solution to people's problem makes all the difference. Lastly, work with third-party tools. What does that mean? Don't be the message, but the messenger. Instead of giving the presentation of your service or product yourself, you are referring to a tool or a person who is doing the job for you. This can be a video, a book, a person, an event, so to speak, a third-party tool. I'm sure you all know the saying about the prophet in his own country, right? Tip number two, learn the concept of invitation. I remember when I started in network marketing, 
Due to my sports career, I had quite some knowledge about health and nutrition. So what I did was two hour presentations about the product I was working with. Surprisingly enough, some of the people still ordered the product because they felt sorry for me spending two hours doing the presentation. But this approach was not duplicatable at all. Since I was quite knowledgeable about health, I could speak quite a lot about it. However, it was not possible for others to do the same kind of presentations I did. So this limited the growth of my business. And when I figured out the concept of invitation I'm going to teach you now, it sped up duplication in the organization because it's easy to learn and to teach. The art of invitation is one of the most decisive skills in your network marketing career. In the concept I'm working with, I broke down the art of invitation into three simple phases. Phase number one, somebody showed me something. Phase number two, that helped me to solve my problem. Phase number three, if I showed it to you, would it be interesting for you? So basically, you're selling a solution and you're not just marketing a product or an opportunity. So, are you ready for the concept of inviting? Remember, your prospect has just opened up and told you about the challenge in his life. So, let's take a look at more specific examples. Let's imagine you're working in a network marketing company and you're providing a product. And for example, you know Tom. He's a very good friend and he tells you that he always is lacking of energy during the day. And then you are recognizing the problem or the challenges in his life and this is opening the door for you. And at this moment you could say something like, Hey Tom, this is very interesting that you mentioned this because somebody introduced me a couple of months, weeks or years ago to a product that helped me to maintain better energy during the day. If I'm going to show the same product to you, would that be interesting for you? And what do you think will Tom say? For sure he will say, yes, please give me the information. Okay, second example. It's again Tom, our best friend. And now you spend time with him and you have real interest into his life. And he's explaining you his challenges he has nowadays, you know, due to the economic winter we are living in. He's complaining about higher living costs and the prices are raising and that he has really financial struggle. And this is the time when you recognize the problem and you can provide a solution. In this case, it's the business solution. And you can say something like, hey Tom, this is very interesting that you mentioned this because somebody introduced me to a business opportunity that helped me to create some extra income so that I could keep my standards in my life. If I'm going to show this opportunity to you, would that be interesting for you? So what do you think will Tom say again? For sure he will say yes, because you're solving a problem in his life. So, okay, third example. Again, my friend Tom. When I spend time with him, he tells me that he's stuck in his job. He's not making any progress in his job and it's quite frustrating. So that's the time again when you recognize the problem and you could say something like this. Hey Tom, that's very interesting that you mentioned this because I got introduced into a business opportunity just a couple of weeks, months or years ago that totally changed my view of the future on my personal development. If I'm going to show this opportunity to you, would that be interesting for you? So what do you think again will Tom say? For sure he will say yes. Okay. I hope you got the concept because it's all about the concept. Somebody showed me something that helped me or others and if I'm gonna show it to you, would that be interesting for you? To apply this concept in your daily life, it takes only one to two minutes and you will get a yes in 99% of the time. Quite powerful, right? Now, all you need to do is to role play with your sponsor and practice, practice, practice. There is nothing as wonderful as effective practicing. It's a cliche to remind you that practice makes perfect, right? But that's the reality for many top marketers in this business. You need to have prepared yourself for any kind of situation you could tap into. But beyond that, getting prepared and practicing gives you the confidence that assures the success of a conversation and that you can easily handle any situation. 
I want to emphasize the role of practice because this is one of the effective strategies that has worked for me as well. The whole preparation assured that I knew the right way to market the product or service in any kind of situation. Also, by role playing with your sponsor, you can easily seek weak points and make them stronger. You can also get a chance to fail and make you all your mistakes before someone who would correct you properly and from their wealth of experience offer you a better way. Once you got this feedback, the best thing to do next is to practice even more until you are fluent and confident in your ability to offer your product, service or opportunity. Tip number three, learn from mentors. The role mentors play in helping you to master the art of invitation cannot be overemphasized. They groom you to become more confident and from them you learn skills and methods that yield results. One way to do this is to follow your mentors to their meetings with new prospects. Just observe how they speak in such meetings. Look out for their body language, their gestures, their pace of speaking, how they lean towards the prospects to speak, how they maintain eye contact and how they ensure that the conversation is interesting and engaging. Tip number four, master the process. In sport, every time we integrated a new movement, we practiced it over and over again until it was fully integrated. And so it is with the process of invitation. In the very beginning, the concept of invitation will not always be present when a door is opening for you. But the more you practice, the more it will become natural for you to apply it in every situation every day. Once you have mastered this simple concept and you are able to teach it to people in your team, you will see tremendous growth in your organization. My piece of advice is to really master the concept of inviting. It's very important that you not only try it once or twice, master it, practice it, apply it, and the results will multiply because this is an approach easily duplicated. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button to subscribe to this channel to get more useful videos like this. Until next time, see you, bye bye.